I'm gonna ruin your childhood. In the movie Frozen, have you ever wondered why Sven is so attached to Kristoff? Or did you ever notice how Kristoff is wearing a reindeer pelt? Well, it turns out Kristoff is wearing the reindeer pelt from Sven's mother. Sven is so attached to Kristoff because the scent of him reminds him of his dead mother. I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna ruin your whole childhood part 3. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Have you ever wondered how all the creatures in Spongebob can talk? Well, it's because the Bikini Bottom is located right underneath the Bikini Atoll, which is where the US government conducted 23 nuclear tests during the Cold War. Spongebob and his friends have been genetically mutated by the nuclear radiation, allowing them to evolve and talk like humans. I'm gonna ruin your childhood memories, part 12. Do you remember Ariel's mom, Queen Athena? Well, she died due to a run-in with pirates when Ariel was just a baby. What's crazy is you can see Athena here when Peter Pan comes to visit the mermaids. However, the mermaids are extremely afraid of Captain Hook. What if I told you that Captain Hook's ship is the one that caught and killed Queen Athena? I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Have you ever wondered why Mr. Krabs is the only crab in Bikini Bottom? Or why he named his famous burger the Krabby Patty? Well, it's because the secret ingredient for the Krabby Patty is actually crabs. Which means Mr. Krabs is a cannibal. I'm sorry, guys. Here's why the cast of Spongebob broke up. Mr. Krabs became homeless and began committing crimes with his weapon. Mrs. Puff went vegan and began posting salad pics on Instagram. After a fallout with Spongebob, Gary became an accomplished actor and continues to be an inspiration. I'm gonna ruin your childhood memories, part 5. The original Cinderella story is much darker than the Disney story. To fit into Cinderella's lost slippers, her stepsisters cut off their toes in order to fool the prince. However, Cinderella's two guardian doves told the prince of their treachery, so he left to find the real Cinderella. Once the prince found Cinderella and they became married, the two stepsisters then tried to befriend Cinderella. After seeing this, the doves then pecked the eyes out of the stepsisters. This blinded them for life and then left Cinderella to live out the rest of her life without a cruel family. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Have you ever wondered why Squidward always gets mad at Spongebob? Well, it's because Squidward is Spongebob's legal guardian. Spongebob's parents hired Squidward to protect him from his ADHD, which is why Squidward lives right beside him and always watches over him. He puts up with Spongebob's nonsense, all while suffering from severe depression. I'm sorry guys. Here's the real story behind Mulan. So we all remember Mulan as being courageous and brave, a great warrior that made her family proud and fell in love along the way. But this isn't what actually happened in the original story. In the original, she makes it home to her village, where she finds out that her whole family has been brutally murdered. Her only option was to become a sex slave, but she refused to live like that. So she committed a ritual suicide called seppuku, which is where you stab yourself to death. I'm gonna ruin your childhood part 10. Alright, there's this scene in Spongebob where he's blowing up these things and there's just, I know, I'm going to pause it for you guys, but what does that look like to you guys? Uh, not very child children friendly Spongebob, what's up with that? I'm going to ruin your childhood, bar 73. You guys remember Rachel McGuire from Boy Meets World, right? Well, this may surprise you, but she is actually a straight up porn star now. Even Jackie Chan did a porno movie once. Well, you know what they say, Jackie Chan always does his own stunts. And Rocky Babo himself, Sylvester Stallone, also was in a porno movie back in 1970. Pretty cool. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. So in the beginning of the movie Shrek, there's three bears caged up. We have Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. Later on in the movie, we can only see Papa Bear and Baby Bear sitting by the fire. So where's Mama Bear, you may ask? Well, later on in the movie, you can see that Lord Farquaad turned Mama Bear into a rug. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Have you ever wondered why Plankton always wanted the Krabby Patty formula? Well, it was because he was abused by his parents when he grew up. And he was neglected by society, leaving him with no friend. He thought if he stole the Krabby Patty formula, he would finally be accepted into society. All he wanted was some friends. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna ruin your childhood part 25. 
So everyone remembers Max from The Wizards of Waverly Place, right? Well, after Disney, he had uh, some struggles. In 2014, he had a huge meltdown backstage at the Teen Choice Awards. A bunch of witnesses claimed that he yelled at a worker because the worker didn't know who he was. And he got so bad, he even threw things at a staffer and stormed off. But it gets way worse. A couple years later, he was involved in a four-car hit and run. His car smashed into three parked cars. And the other people in the car with him threw a bottle of vodka out the car. So what did him and his amazing friends do after they hit three parked cars? They got out of their car and called an Uber and left. Yeah, that's right. They literally left their crash car just there. They just left it. Oh, and to make matters worse, he also got arrested for drunk driving a little after that too. He faces up to six months in jail and a $1,000 fine if he's convicted. Pretty cool. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Peppa the pig was never healthy and always sick. One day, Peppa's parents decided it would be best if they euthanized her. That same night, Peppa fell asleep and was injected with a poison killing her. Peppa's final dream was about fairies, which is why she wanted to become a fairy. Peppa's parents couldn't live with the guilt of killing their own child. What if I told you in Snow White, Prince Charming isn't a prince at all, but he's actually a grim reaper. The first time she sees him next to the well, she runs. Maybe that's to symbolize death looming. Then, after she ate the poisonous apple, she had no choice but to embrace death and have the kiss of death. This makes the final scene where she says goodbye to her friends and rides off on a white horse make a lot more sense. Fun fact, white horse or pale horse in the Bible represents death. I'm gonna ruin your childhood memories, part six. Do you remember Pocahontas from the Disney movies? Well, she was a real person, and she was only 11 years old. Since she was able to speak English, she was used as a translator between the Native Americans and the Englishmen. However, a man named Captain Samuel Argyll tricked her into coming onto a ship and kidnapped her as his prisoner. She was then forced to marry John Rolfe at the age of 12 and changed her name to Rebecca Rolfe. Her new husband then took her to London to show off his new Indian bride. Unfortunately, on the trip back to London, she got smallpox. Instead of heroically saving her tribe like in the movie, she just passed away from smallpox at the age of 20. I can't believe they get away with this. <laughs> Yo! I'm gonna ruin your childhood part two.